Good afternoon. Uh, welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode 676. The topic today is the power of I can't. Um, I'm going to do a little, little explaining to do. So before I jump into that, let me introduce myself, um, give you some framing, and we can get into this topic. My name is Barry Selby, and thank you for watching. And if you're here for the first time, hi. <laughs> Um, I do these Facebook Lives every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page and then put them onto YouTube and my other places after that. So if you're watching on YouTube, it was first on my personal page. But if you're watching me here live on Facebook, you can comment, respond, and interact. So, hi, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and I help women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which, is, which informs my work and also inspires these talks I do every day called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. Although today's topic is more generic, so it's not necessarily gender specific. And the, the topic today, and this is episode 676 again, the topic today, as I said, was the power of I can't. This may be part of a series because there's several frame, phrases and words that we use in common vernacular that are extremely debilitating to our ability to succeed. And this is true for relationships, it's true for business, it's true for any area of life. And the power of I can't is a very it's a dark power. <laughs> it's kind of like the power of the dark side because when you say I can't, or I, if you're an American, I can't, I know it's different. If you say that, then what you're defining is you're cutting off the ability to do something. Figuratively, the word can't as if you're taking a cleaver to a possibility happening and it cuts it off completely. The reason why we're, why we're trained to say I can't is because we default to a belief that it's simply yes or no. There's no gray area, gray area in between. It's either you can or you can't, black and white. The reality is though, for most things in life, for most things in life, it's not about can't do, it's simply not available, not possible, it's impo is, it is impossible. It's actually a matter of choice. And if you can't do something, that's no choice about that. It's like you completely cut off the ability to make any choices. When you choose not to do something, which is very different, but the same result, then it's about willingness and about the choosing to do something or choose not to do something. First of all, when you do that, it doesn't close out all possibilities. Secondly, and more importantly, it doesn't cut yourself off at the knees. See, when you say I can't, you've limited yourself and cut yourself off from doing anything you wanted to do. So when, for example, um, say that a friend asks you to fuck me out for coffee next week and you say, I can't because I've got something else going on. That's not really true. What you're actually saying is, I have other plans so I won't be able to make it. That's the reality. But saying I can't is, in, is, is, is that sort of cutting it off again. It's an impossibility. What's really happening is you're making a choice to do something else. The thing about it is there are only a few things in life that you cannot do. Most people cannot fly without a plane or a parachute. That's an impossibility. So when you say like, you know, I can't fly, that's probably true, except the fact that you could fly if you got in a plane and did it. So I'm just let, I'm giving the idea to play with possibilities because 99% of things we talk about and 99.9% .9 of things we think about, just to qualify this, are limited ways of living because we choose to use language that we don't, uh, that limits our ability to have things. Limit, let me try that one again. 99% of, of what we say and 99.9% .9 of what we think is controlled by what we frame in our languaging. And if you are in the habitual pattern or habitual, I'm going to say habitual habit, that doesn't work. If you're in a repetitive habit of saying, I can't do something, then you're training yourself to be cut off from possibilities. When you simply say, I don't want to, or I'm unable to, you're simply declaring the truth because you're saying, you know, I don't want to do it. That's fine. Or I have other plans, so I won't be able to make it. That's fine too, because it's the truth. When you say, I can't make it, that's actually not real. There's, I'm trying, I'm actually, whilst I'm telling you this, I'm attempting to remember a phrase someone told me a long time ago about the, about the use of, a, of can't in a way that is so overt, but I'm not seeing it show up yet. Hmm. So let me just say it this way. There we go. If you want more possibilities in your life, eliminate the word can't 
from your vocabulary. Replace it with accurate statements of what's true, which means choices, preferences, and abilities. Because that's what those three things come under the heading of. See, like you can do it, but you don't want to. That's accurate. You can do it, but you don't choose to. That's also accurate. You can do it, but you're already booked somewhere else and you have other things going on, so you're not able to make that happen ideally. You, as you don't, as, as a can't is, you can't be in two places at once. That's a reality. Although you can actually communicate, so you can be in two places at once. So I think you're getting the gist of what I'm trying to say here. When you are clearing your languaging, and there's a few other ones besides can't that I can tell you about, which I may do in the next few days. I may just do a series of these because they're so insidious in our languaging, but we use them without thinking about it. And that lack of thought is like shooting ourselves in the foot. So simple reminder, simple reminder, is that your ability to have um, life work the way you want it to, the ability to have that is predicated upon you being available to what's possible. And when you say, I can't, you are cutting off all possibilities. So, and, and again, as I mentioned, there are some literal ones that you can, you can say they're impossible because of the physical limitations of being human. But there's always an exception to the rule in some ways. But my reminder to you simply is this, is that in your conversations, when your relationships, in your business, and in your life in general, Notice when you have that word can't show up, cannot, can't, however you want to say it. When it shows up, be willing to reframe it, grab it and say, you know what, that's not accurate. Because it may take some practice for you. This is one of the things about reframing your languaging, is something that takes time to re repurpose your languaging. So you may not catch that fr phrase can't slipping out. It may just come out too quickly. But the more you become aware of it, and this is a practice for all ways of reframing your languaging, to change the way you say things, is to watch the words you say with time, you would say, you probably would have the ability to catch yourself when you say, I can't go, well, hang a second. I said I can't, but the reality is I'm not able to make it. That's the truth. And that starts to change your language around to give you the possibilities and the framing to have control over your life. This sounds simplistic, but truth is, if you learn this skill set about how to reframe your languaging and take away some of those um, deletion words that remove you from having life the way you want it to, your life is gonna transform. This is part of my coaching, and this is not something to do with my coaching, but it's really, it's, it's a lot of times with my clients, I mean, frankly, a lot of times I'll hear them tell their stories, and they'll say certain things, and I go, is that really accurate? What I'm doing is holding up a mirror to show them where they may be telling themselves lies. And using the word can't is one of those lies, because it's really about choices. And when you remember you have choice, you have power, you have freedom, you have the ability to have do dominion over your own life. If you don't have that right now, this is a powerful way to get there. I'm making this simple to give you some ideas, and I will do some talk. I, do, I will do another talk tomorrow. Yes, I will. I'm just clearing my head in my one to do. There's at least there's yes there's at least there's at least four other um, words or statements that we tend to use in our languaging that really shoot ourselves in the foot. So this is one of them. I'll give the other one. I'll give you at least another one tomorrow. And probably, I'll make sure you may do the whole week. We'll see what happens. But I want to give you this as a reminder and a encouragement to open up to possibilities. And that's about it. Simple one. Give you something to think about. Change, you know, change, change your life. Change your mindset. Change how you get things done by what you say to yourself and what you say to the world. Um, that pretty much is my topic today. If you want extra help in this area, if you find yourself challenged by the language you use, um, send me a, I'll put, I'll put my contact form in the, in the comments so you can reach out to me so we can talk because this can be a game changer for some people. Maybe it will be for you. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. That will be a little reminder for today. I'll have more for tomorrow. I appreciate you being with me as always. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page, and then watch the replays. You can you can watch the replays, all of my archives, on my business page and on YouTube. I'll give you the places to find them. So 5 p.m. Pacific time on my on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. The my business page, which is Barry Selby the author, has all the replays in it in a more um, collected format because my personal page has other stuff posted. And then my YouTube channel, so, so like my personal page, sorry, like my business page. 
and my business page and my YouTube channel, you can please subscribe to that, is Barry Selby. And on there is a playlist called Messages for the Masculine. So if you want to subscribe to that, I would happily let you do that. <laughs> and you watch all my replays there as well in YouTube format. So with that, I thank you for watching. I hope it's been of help to you and give you some thoughts, inspiration and ideas. And um, let's see what happens. Watch your words. Watch what you tell yourself. Watch what you tell other people. And change the way your life works. Because it can work a whole lot better when you know what you're saying to yourself and to the world. So be aware of it. It's kind of a subtle game sometimes. But it can be a game changer. And uh, if you find this has been a value to you and we'll share it with somebody else, please do. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll respond when I sign off. I appreciate you being with me and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.